Don't miss any content. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Welcome back to Sahara Football as usual. I am your host Salasi Fiawe. Today we're going to talk about the 1993 and the 17 World Cup. As you've been following, if you've been following this channel, I've covered the 1991 World Cup in the under 17 level Ghana's first title. I've also talked about the 1995 version where Ghana won it for the second time in three years. In 1993, however, Ghana made it all to the way to the final. Unfortunately, they could not win it. They lost to Nigeria in what was an all African World Cup final. As usual, if you're new to the channel, I advise you to subscribe to the channel and to click on the notification bell to get more updates. So, the 90s, as I said, heralded a great time for Ghana at the under 17 level. Going to the under 17 World Cup and me producing some of the most amazing players at that level, the 90s was really a rich, rich time for Ghana football. Fortunately for Ghana, we had one of the best squads ever to pay take in the World Cup at the under 17 level. The 1993 tournament it was the fifth of this edition of the under 17 World Cup held in Tokyo, Japan. Ghana was placed in Group A of that competition and they were in the same group with the hosts Japan as well as uh, Mexico and Italy. At the end of the first of the group stages, Ghana topped that group followed by the host Japan. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let me just give you a brief history of the tournament and the players that we took to that tournament. I'll first look at the squad for that tournament and it includes legendary goalkeeper Ali Jara. Ali Jara was playing for Black Starlets against Mexico. He had a promising promising talent. Ali Jara, a humble young footballer of Heart of Hook, remembered in Ghana Football League for a superb display against arch rivals Kumasi Asante Kotoko in a league match at the Kumasi Sports Stadium for rescuing a goal bound Joe Debra shot with a fingertip save over the crossbar. Jara's display at the 1991-92 season against George Arthur inspired BA United where indeed the match ended a goalless draw with Hearts of Oak winning on penalties in the last league match of the season at the Coronation Park. On the national front, Jara was a goalkeeper for the Black Starlets during 91, substitute goalkeeper for that tournament. At 17, Jara matured and was preferred as the first choice a goalkeeper to the likes of James Nano. During the 1993 Under-17 World Championship in Japan, indeed, Jara had wonderful tournament with world-class display in the matches until in the final with the Eaglets of Nigeria. Jara won the Ghana football most promising player in the 92-93 season. Unfortunately, tragedy hit Jara. After the tournament, Jara had a contract from FC Cologne in Germany and was preparing for trip via his own fitness and training. The last ever Ghana first division had ended. Jara resorted to beach training. In the course of one of such training, he felt some back pains and stopped after a while. Now the same back pain got severe with the passage of time and he summarily got paralyzed as a result on 23rd October 1993. Quite unfortunate. Not even MRI scans were able to detect actual cause of the sickness. He was sent to Cronwell Hospital in UK. Where indeed he spent one year and two months, but after was only diagnosed with a rare cause of Guerin Paris syndrome. In that, there's no cure for his predicament. Some sometimes one's willpower may make him recover. Jara's news really hits the football world hard, and he wasn't ever able to play football again. His active years of football were from 1990 to 1993. He was lucky to be with the Ghana National Fire Service before his predicament and still works with them as a sprayer. He was once again, he was once upon a time the goalkeeper trainer for his darling club Heart of Folk. All along, he instituted his own goalkeepers academy and can boast of propelling the best goalkeepers in the country for the last decade. Surprisingly, he trains them 
for free of charge i just took a side note there and talked about ali chara one of the players of this tournament in the 1993 world cup at the under 17 level robert Odro was one of the players there as well. Sebastian Barnes, Samuel Oseku for 16 years of age. Imano Lopoku, Mark Edusei, jo Joseph Famer, Daniel Ado, Esuma Ndazi, Seth Chumesi, Imano Gia, Ni Welbeck, Daniel Ama, Gabriel Entry, Mohamed Muftau, James Nano, Kenneth Sapo and Samuel Ado. These are the 18 players that went to the tournament to represent Ghana at the under 17 level in 1993. Group A games kicked off in earnest and Ghana took on Japan in their first game. Famiya with a goal in the sixth in the fifth minute got Ghana off to a winning start. They beat Japan 1-0. In the second game, Ghana played with Mexico. They thrashed the Mexicans for one. That's it with a brace. Ado and Gia scored the subsequent goals in a 4-1 drubbing of the Mexicans. Ghana went on to their fi final game to meet Italy, where they thrashed them as well for 0 Gia, Ado, Famille and Dati were the goal scorers for the Ghana Black Starlets. The quarterfinals it was to next and Ghana faced Australia. After extra time in the 92nd minute, it was a 1-0 win for Ghana to progress into the semi-final. Daniel Addo was the goal scorer at the time. The coach of the Ghana Black Starlets was Isaac Praha. Now, after the quarterfinal, Ghana met Chile in the semi-final. It was a 3-0 victory for the Ghana Black Starlets. Famille Ama Gia were on the score sheet for the Ghana Black Starlets and on to the final they went where they faced the Super Eaglets of Nigeria who on their own had been an amazing side in this tournament. They had scored 8 goals against the 4 old Canada. They had scored 4 goals against Argentina at this level. That team included players like Wanko Kanu took on Ghana in the final and this is what and see, let's go have a look at what happened in the final when Ghana met Nigeria. So these are the two teams on the pitch, Ghana versus Nigeria. And as early as the third minute, Nigeria got onto the score sheet. Onoma with a goal for the Nigerians. It was a goal as early as the third minute. Area. can see them in NS. The goalkeeper, Samuel Oseku for in your shot right now. The goalkeeper of the Ghana Black Starlets, Ali Chara, telling the teammates to calm down. This a replay of the goal again. A header into the back of the net. Quite unfortunate for Ghana to go behind that early. So, Oruma with that first goal for Nigeria, a midfielder. Ghana looking to respond quickly, but it wasn't to be. Nigeria would take a 2-0 lead in this game against Ghana. Beautiful interplay there. Samuel Oseku for with that mistake, and it is 2-0 for the Nigerians. And this all but confirmed that Nigeria would be crowned under 17 champions in 1993. Great goal there, mistake, a huge, huge mistake. Ali Jara there disappointed. Khan when his teammate celebrating. The Nigerians are ecstatic. Quick one, two. And Osekufo failed to clear his lines well. I think a corner kick considered would have been acceptable. A beautiful, beautiful dummy and the goal into the back of the net. And that was how Nigeria secured the under 17 title of 1993. Bang into the back of the net. And not CK with a goal. That was his first uh, fifth goal of the tournament. He won the highest goal scorer. The second half still ongoing. And Ghana would pull one back eventually. Ghana pulled one back, but it was too little, too late for the Ghana Black Starlets. 
a looping header into the back of the net it was consolation as it turned out to be Ose Kufo there celebrating with his teammate and it, it's it's not something to celebrate it was in the dying embers of the game and Ghana it was written on the world that they would not win the comeback from this it was a great looping header from Ghana there an amazing goal but it was a consolation goal of the least so that is how it ended for the Ghana Black Starlets and that is how the tournament ended for them and the Ghana Black Starlets they were second in the tournament won silver and it was an all-african showdown in Asia Nigeria overcame Ghana in the final to take the laurels at Japan 93 the Eaglet stood out from start to finish. The outstanding physique, impeccable sense of organization, and impressive progressive tactics combining to make them the most feared team in the tournament. Having future stars of the caliber of Wilson or Huma, top scorer in the competition, Wanko Kanu, Peter Anosike, Ibrahim Babangida, and Celestine Babayaro at their disposal certainly helped too. Their age zero thrashing of poor Canada at the start of the proceedings sets the tone. South American giants Argentina hardly fared much better, going down 4 0, and it was uh, the turn of Australia 2 0, Japan 2 1, Poland 2 1 to suffer at the hands of the all conquering Nigerians. Ghana were the last header, and a 2 1 in their final was enough to send the golden eaglets flying home with the coveted trophy safely in their grasp the two teams at the end of the tournament came onto the pitch to celebrate uh, together africa had taken over the world stage and it was interesting and amazing to see two african nations celebrating the at the under 17 level and ghana unfortunately could not make it ali jara samola sekufo famille dancy the stars of the show unfortunately they could not win it for the second time in a row nigeria won their second title at the under 17 level and that is how it ended so that has been it for today i've been looking back at the 1993 under 17 world cup did you watch this game let me know your thoughts on everything in the comments box see you guys in the next one enjoy your day